Hi, do you remember? Ah, uh, and today I'm going to demonstrate two methods of um, installing the extension, the yarn. One will be starting it with a twist, and then the other will be starting it with a braid. If your yarn braids are, if you find that they might be a little dry, um, I would make a recommendation to spray them. First, just dampen them just a little bit so that when you unravel your hair, your, your hair isn't breaking between um, the yarn. Yeah. This one was um, started as a twist, so there's nothing to unbraid. I'm just going to unravel it, unroll it towards you to expose my hair. My hair is there, and my hair is here. Alright, I'm going to unroll it. This one I'm rolling towards me. And this one I'm rolling towards you. Although it, it seems time consuming, this makes uh, washing your hair so much easier and quicker. And you'll be thankful that you did it. The idea is to preserve the hair that you have on your head. A lot of people ask me how, how I got my hair to be as long as I did in six years. If you look at my first video, I posted a picture on the length of my hair before I cut it and started coloring it and it reached um, just above it was just at mid bar strap length in six years where I'm growing it from the root um, and a lot of length doesn't come from particularly what you're doing to your hair but how you're working to preserve the hair that's already on your head that's how you achieve the length. Using one string of yarn um, for each side, I'm going to demonstrate now how to um, put the thread. Measuring it at equal length. This is the yarn. Okay. Looping it. Over the over the your natural hair. So basically, this is one strand. This is the second strand of hair, and then placing the extension, placing your hair in between the extension becomes your third strand. All I'm doing is looping, right? And what I like to do is to keep my my thumb, my index finger inside, press tightly to the scalp, to the root, while I twist the two ends. So I'm holding on to my hair and pulling it in one direction, and then the extension of the yarn is right at the base of my head. See that? And I'm pulling it in the opposite direction so that it is as tight to the scalp as possible. Now I am going to twist. When I twist, that basically starts off the braid. See that? So that my hair is still here. This is going to create a knot. This twist, all they did was twist it. I'm going to untwist it so you can see. See that? Separate it. All you do is one twist. My finger still secures the braid at the base of the of the root, right at the, at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to begin braiding by securing my finger there as tightly as possible. See, this finger is still holding down to the base, so I will thread a couple of stitches before moving down the actual hair. Okay, and that creates a tight braid. Now, once I've completed several stitches, see that? One, two, and three. Natural hair, yarn, and yarn. Once I've completed several stitches, I'm going to get my hair back to the center. Okay, so that third stitch this hair back to the center. My hair then becomes split. 
split it in half, and now I have a twist. Now the trick here is to keep your hair clean and tight and make this a really, really neat twist is to coil and twist at the same time. Coil, like a palm roll, is this. You're going to do that. You're rolling. Okay. And then a, a twist, of course, is, you know, crossing the hairs, crossing the strands, taking them across each other. So I am rolling. One, this one in my hand is going to be rolling toward me. This one in this hand is going to be rolling toward you, toward the camera. So I coil and twist at the same time, simultaneously. Coil, twist, coil, twist, coil, twist. And every time I coil, I'm twisting. And that's how I get my twist so neat and tight. And the only reason I'm not going to burn this is because I'm going to take it right out. So, of course, when you get to the end, you would burn that and then clip off your excess. Okay. The second technique is to start the twist as a twist instead of braiding it. This one is a little bit more um, involved, I should say. But once you get the hang of it, as easy as pie. What I do is create two separate strands, just in a half, to these already prepared. Because that's how I started to use my deadline. So we caught kind of already doing that position. And separate it, right? Now you're asking Mimi, how do you get it in there? How do you actually get it in there? One strand is going to be, one strand of yarn is going to go match to each side. Okay, I'm still getting used to the camera. Sorry guys. So this end strand, excuse me, natural hair that was separated. It's gonna go for this piece of yarn here. And this strand of yarn is gonna go to this strand of hair. All I am doing guys is holding my index finger right at the base of the scalp again and I'm gonna secure uh, one side by coiling it towards me and then the other side coiling it towards you. That was not supposed to hurt your head. See that? This one is tightly rolled, secured towards you, and this one is tightly rolled, secured towards me. So when you have them in opposite directions, what that yarn does is actually attach itself to the scalp, making four palm rolls that are going in opposite directions. That's the only way the twist is going to work, is when it goes in opposite direction. Now, all you have to do is begin coiling. Um, you continue to coil, I'm sorry, in the opposite direction. Now you have to, to twist. So, coil, twist, coil, twist, coil, twist. And this is the easiest way for me to explain to someone that would not otherwise know how to do this. I know a lot of people try to explain on the videos how to do a two-strand twist, but the best way to explain it is that you're coiling the hair first and then crossing it over. So there you go. Really neat, really clean, pretty twist.